everyone welcome back to another video from shomus biology and this series of lectures we are talking about csn net life science syllabus analysis in details question patterns in details today we are going to talk about csn net life science unit 13 biological techniques so we are going to dig into the csn net life science biological techniques chapter or that is csn net life science unit 13 chapter first i'll start with the syllabus of csn net life science unit 13 and the syllabus I just cut and pasted from CSI Net website, but it's color graded uh, according to my personal experience as well as ten years question paper study. Green means most important topics, yellow means moderately important topic, and red means least important topic. Let's start with this first on molecular biology and recombinant DNA methods. That is recombinant DNA technology. Remember, molecular biology and recombinant DNA technology is RDT techniques that includes everything cloning and related to anything Cl re cloning related anything you know uh, markers and any kind different kinds of markers that are utilized out there the vectors that are utilized out there and even after the cloning is done then the process of uh, you know uh, screening of the libraries dna library cdna library genomic library everything will be there and also different kind of markers rapd rflp aflp all these markers all these things they are very very important for csi net life sciences remember they are very very important next one is uh, histochemical or immuno techniques now immuno techniques means related to the immuno precipitation based or agglutination based techniques or assays elisa ria will be there radio immuno assays will be there many different types of assays will be there biophysical methods important and the biophysical methods i know that uh, biology students have real fearing a uh, fear for bio biophysical methods i clearly demonstrated that even i think 7 8 years ago regarding the nmr spectroscopy uh, and circular dichroism i made videos on all this extra crystallography i have made this video on all this i had a plan to make a new video because those videos are 7 8 years old although the the topic remains the same you can watch that mass spectroscopy remains the same i'm going to make a new videos on those topics very soon uh, but this biophysical methods are something that you need to prepare very well as a biology students you fear this but once you understand that it becomes very crystal clear in your mind and you will be able to conquer any challenge that comes okay then we have statistical methods moderately important statistical method binomial poisson distribution again i have a plan to make videos on biostatistics as well i made that i think 10 years ago so i'll make uh, new videos on statistical methods as well i have a plan to make that in future as well so again if the time permits i'll do that by this year end or maybe the beginning of the next year you are going to see both biophysical techniques new videos and statistical methods new videos biostatistics part particularly the chi square test and t test the variance and all these concepts you need to be very clear with we have radio labeling techniques which uh, are no longer that important because radio labeling assays are no longer utilized in the lab very often so they are kind of obsolete microscopic techniques are really important i already made videos on microscopic techniques two three times earlier now new videos are already uh, ready i'll be uploading that it's already uploaded the publishing is pending so i'll publish that slowly at a time the video is already ready so microscopic techniques you can clearly you can, if you stay tuned to our uh, application you stay tuned to our channel you're going to see the microscopy techniques not only theory but practical also because i operate two microscopes every single day it's my hobby to continue with that and i can make videos on microscopy any time any point of time all day long there's no problem but i i have this videos ready i'll share with you very soon this is very very important particularly the theory of microscopic techniques that is the part uh, related to the magnification related to the resolution and also bits and pieces of light microscopy that is very important and the difference between light and electron microscopy as well then electrophysiological methods are there ecg uh, patch clamp technique there are some question you know, like in two three net examinations one patch clamp technique question may be there so i don't recommend you to go through this particular part methods in field of biology not that important and also computational methods are out there now this particular part nucleic acid protein sequence database and everything the basics of this videos are already available earlier like 10 years ago you will have a separate playlist shomos biology uh, shomos biology uh, bioinformatics playlist you can get that new videos are already been uploaded which were not full so i'll be uploading full videos very soon it's already ready so you have this computational methods or bioinformatics uh, ready for you and you can practice and prepare by informatics the basics part of it the basics of it and the theory of it there is no practical aspect of it that you need to remember but remember the most important are the molecular biology and dna sequencing methods recombinant dna methods uh, immunological techniques methods second and third one is the biophysical uh, methods all these three are very very important 
and the next would be microscopic techniques and statistical methods so if you prepare this five separate kinds of uh, methods and five different types of techniques you are almost ready uh, to answer most of the question from unit 13 i always suggest uh, that students should prepare unit 13 topics while they are preparing the respective units because unit 13 is a combination of cell biology technique molecular biology technique immunology technique right so while you're reading cell biology prepare the cell biology technique along with it when you're preparing immunology preparing uh, prepare immunological techniques along with it that makes you ready that makes you ready for unit 13 even while you're preparing other units so if you keep unit 13 as a separated unit it will be huge pressure on you because so many techniques are out there i already mentioned about the name of the different techniques which are important regarding unit 13 earlier in a separate video every single session i put the videos and i try to present it in a different way this time you are presenting it in a different way so if you want to see that if you wish to see that in my channel search in the unit 13 csr and 13 topics you'll find out the list and that list will be sufficient for you so the question pattern if you are going to see uh, we know that in unit 13 most of the question will be analytical because those are technique based questions so you need to apply your knowledge as a researcher to get an answer to that the next one is the part c or part b which kind of question will be there you will attain more part c question you will get more part c question than part b from unit 13 and those questions are mostly analytical questions not memory based question that's the beauty of it and analytical questions are the advantage that once uh, you know a concept once you can apply your knowledge that knowledge remains with you stays with you you won't forget it quite often so you can apply that knowledge always and get an answer right but for memory based question you'll forget things so once you prepare this unit it's going to stay with you for a long run for a longer duration and believe me even after you qualify csnet this particular chapter you need to read it again you need to read all the techniques again you need to understand their theory and practical aspects again because while you start doing your work uh, phd thesis and also phd work you are going to see the importance of biological techniques so before going into the next part of our discussion there is five most important topics from this unit let me tell you one simple idea if you enjoy this video if you like this kind of knowledge this kind of information like who someone studies uh, the complete syllabus and give you a clear gist of that syllabus and topics so that you can prepare in the less number of uh, months in the less amount of time to cover most of the syllabus then you can think of joining Shomu's biology online coaching program we have all this tailored for you you can get this ready-made available at your disposal and uh, you can get our study material you can still get some benefit from it so we have different kind of packages depending upon your requirement also depending upon uh, the affordability so you can try out any of our service either study material or our coaching services if you want to get this the link here in this in the description and also uh, we have this number that is popping in this uh, site this is our universal number you can contact this number whatsapp this number the admission for the coaching process will continue and uh, uh, if if obviously we take the students from the admission time frame which is two to two, two and a half months and beyond that time we don't take anyone in the middle so if the admission is going on we'll definitely cater you for that session or i'll tell you to wait for the next session so you can try this out and i believe that nobody is offering two years validity with that much of price point that we are offering so you're going to get everything for two years and two years means four net examinations so it will obviously increase your chance to qualify CS and examination even when you are not in touch with us. So, what are you waiting for? If you wish to join, you can always join in here. Now, without any delay, let me take you to the top 5 must-read topics for Unit 13. CSIRnet Unit 13 or CSIRnet Biological Techniques Unit. And these are RDT, Recombinant DNA Technology Techniques. We have Immunological Essays and Techniques. Third one is Biophysical Methods okay fourth one microscopy techniques and the fifth one statistical methods so we have these five separate uh, important topics for you and if you want to just read few topics suggestively read these few topics and throughout the series when i mentioned about five topics per unit all those five topics that i'm mentioning if you prepare only those five topics for all the unit 13 into 5 65 topics you are going to get if you prepare those 65 topics you are going to get more than 85% questions from that, 90% even questions from that. And if you prepare them correctly, with six months span, you can do that. You can answer most of the question. And uh, if you practice answering question and answer with C like question answer series that we provide, online test series separately we provide, or any other support, you're going to get a better preparation. 
okay so keep this in your mind if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you